So I'm getting into the word today. Um, I always seem to be out here or seem to feel the need to do a video after I've reached some point of significance. So this past Friday marked my year of celebrating, I don't know what to call it, celebrating or commemorating my um, fifth year of celibacy. So I am now entering into my fifth year of no sex, no of any form, no oral, no anal, no vaginal, of course, um, no phone sex either. And I can tell you that it has not been, I like fast, I like going on fast. This one has not been, it's been definitely, uh, it's definitely been necessary and it's been incredibly, you know, just providing an opportunity to soul search and to lift and to challenge me, but it has been, it has not been easy. It's been difficult, a little difficult as I do. I enjoy the intimacy of sex. It's not necessarily I enjoy the, you know, the physical of it is great as well. It feels great when it's done right, but the intimacy of companionship and just where, um, to just like have that as an option of sharing intimacy and sharing love and affection in that regard and just not having any of that as even an option you know and not even not having it as an option but not having it as a possibility because I'm not with anybody so it's not even like the pressure's not even there because I'm not even remotely with someone right now so it's not even a question of okay if we talk you know, a little long, or if we flirt a little long, or if things linger, this is how we're going to end up, or there's a, a pressure of maybe this being the, the end result. There's no, there's no pressure of it. it there, there is no pressure, pressure of it. It's just like absolute, um, just, just absolute, I don't want to say emptiness, but it's just like absolutely, um, no, no chance of it it's just kind of like a a moot point at this at this time so i am 41 i thought that by 41 by 40 i wanted to be married again for my last time i also wanted to have twins so that i can legitimately say at 60 you know i was seeing my babies off the college or seeing them not off the college but you know entering like you know finishing up college at 60 years old because 40 puts me right in tune with with um 20 years so 60 so i kind of had this you know idea planned out that i'd be about 60 and going and seeing my babies my twins my last two finish college and you know that's a good life and um and then, uh, you know, I always tell my kids uh, my my goal is to live long enough to see my grandkids graduate college, and that would have to be all the all of the my kids' kids, not just my first set of kids' kids. And wow, here I am in October 2019, and it just seems like that's a little bit more distant off. So I got my Bible out and my prayer book, as usual. I'm writing some things. Um, opening myself up to hear some things revealed. Definitely not satisfied with my physical condition at this point in time. I think I've been doing good by not eating out the past month. And I'm going to continue that this month as well. But, um, yeah, just I'm not feeling the best about how I look physically but I know I'm working on that and soon come and, but it's, it is hard to stay motivated when you 
I just feel like, hey, I'm 41 years old. Nobody is really checking for me like that, you know, and especially not because not just, you know, it's not because I feel like I'm I'm not worthy of that being checked for, so to speak. But also, I'm not doing the things to get checked for. I'm not getting the nails done. I'm not in the hair salons. I'm not I'm not out in the clubs. I'm not dressing to get that type, type that type of attention. I'm just not even in that that atmosphere. For lack of a better term. I'm just being content with um my role as a mom. It's like difficult enough, right? Like I have no time to be even worrying about the trends and the fashion since I'm just trying to stay afloat being able to provide some type of life for my kids <sighs> so that's my check in that's my, my daily word uh, I'm constantly asking for the Lord to order my steps to give me a sign to make sure that I'm going on the right direction but um, a companion would be amazing just someone to bounce some ideas off of and, and then like I said to just have the opportunity for intimacy to ensue I miss that. I miss that, that, I miss just that having that as an option or having that as um, an opportunity. That's what it is, I guess. And it's just, I don't, I don't even have those opportunities to stay. You know, and also too, I just miss the, 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 I really honestly miss being sweet, like to my man, you know, hey, wake ups, you know, baby and kisses and cooking for my man. I miss all of that. So maybe even without the sex, just the intimacy or the opportunity for intimacy. I'm shutting off. I'm going to get back into the Word.